Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazleton and in this video I'll be showing you a simple way to create a YouTube thumbnail for your own video. Before we get started, I'm changing things up a bit. Um, please feel free to leave a comment below about anything you would like as long as it's nice and respectful. If you want to tell me something new and exciting going on in your life or something related to this video, that's perfectly fine. Before I get going on the video, I want to share a corny joke for you. I, this is something new that I'm trying. This is the first video I'm doing this in, so please let me know if you like doing this in the beginning to lighten the mood a bit, uh, or if you'd rather me not do them. So, the corny joke for this video is, why did the football coach go to the bank? To get his quarterback... Uh, okay, so enough of that. So let's move on. Hopefully you got a little laugh out of that, and if not, then I don't really know what to say. All right, how to create a YouTube thumbnail. So I'll be using Canva for this. You can just go to canva.com. There are plenty of other resources you can use, but for this tutorial, this is the website I'll be using. You can either have the free or pro version. Some things I'll be showing you is for the pro version only, but other things can be done in the free version. So the great thing about Canva is that they already have a bunch of templates to use. So right here, YouTube thumbnail. I'm just going to click on it to create a blank YouTube thumbnail and it's going to open it up in a new window and it's already going to be the size that I need for a YouTube thumbnail, which is super, super helpful. And it's going to also give me a bunch of different templates to use, which can be a great starting place actually if you're not really sure what to do. I like to look at other YouTubers who might have similar thumbnails or similar videos and try to get ideas from there, but definitely do your best to make them original and stand out. So, all right, this is loaded. You can name your design up here. I'm just going to do YouTube thumbnail example. You can use any of the templates that they have. As you can see up here, there's some templates. There's definitely plenty more too. So this one is 15 ways to improve productivity is the template. So I think this is a pretty cool background. I'm going to change this around a bit. But just to give you an idea, you can definitely use their templates or you can go to backgrounds and change the backgrounds to whatever you would like, a solid cover, color or a different landscape, or you can use a picture that you uploaded yourself in case you want to use the background of like a room you're in or things like that. I do recommend having your words big enough so that they can be read if someone was on a smartphone. So what I try to do is go on my phone after I've uploaded a video and see if I can read the thumbnail through my phone because a lot of people are on YouTube on their phone and if they can't read what your font is or what you're trying to say then they most likely aren't going to go on your video. So I'm just going to delete this because I'm going to use different text on the left hand side here you can go to text and you can either create your own by just doing add a heading or something like that and changing options or there's a bunch of pre-made ones here these are mostly pro version I'll select this one since it's a free version just give it a minute to load so obviously I'm going to want to change the color because this is really hard to see so let me just change it to something that will pop more. All right, the purple, let's try black. We'll try the black. You just change the color up here. This is just going to be random as I'm not making a, a thumbnail that I'm actually going to use in this video. So if you want to change the background of it as well, you can go to effects and it looks like they used echo and you can just adjust all things here. You can also add a background, you can make it curved if you want to. There are honestly so many different options with Canva, it's amazing. And you can underline it. And if you wanted to copy the style to some other text you have, you can hit copy style. If you want this to be more transparent, you can make it more transparent. There are so many different options that you can do. So for this, I'm just going to move over because I want to show you how to make the white outline of your image. So let's say that you were just doing a, th a random thank you video or something, but you wanted to have an image of yourself on the side. I'm just going to upload a random image of me. I'll use the one that's my thumbnail. And then I'm going to go to edit image in the top left here. Now this is only available in the pro version, but they do have 
a free trial available right now, so in case you want to get using that, you definitely can. I believe it's for 30 days. And you just hit the background remover button, and it's going to take a little bit to load, but it does a really good job, in my opinion, of removing the background. And if you're not happy with it, it also gives you an erase and restore option once it's finished loading. So you can add part of the background back in or delete it in case it accidentally cut off something you wanted. And when it's all done, you just want to hit apply. So as you can see, it kind of included part of the fence and it looks a little bit weird, but it's all right. I'm not going to include that part. I'm going to put it down like here. Here we go. And I'm just going to go back to edit image. I'm going to hit shadows. If you don't have it, if you scroll down, it should be there and go to glow. I'm going to edit it inside. So for size, I'll make it about seven, transparency all the way up, blur, all the way, no, nope, other way, all the way down. And then I'm going to change it to white. Actually, I'll keep it black because it's hard to see the white here. And you can change the thickness of it if you want it to be thicker, like that, or if you want it to be smaller. Normally I do a white outline because my backgrounds are normally a color where the white will show up better. Let's zoom in way in now. Zoom back out. There we go. Sorry about that. Peter's just having a meltdown for a minute. So you just make it bigger, things like that. And honestly, this is perfectly fine. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit if it will let me. There we go. So you guys can see what it looks like. I'll change the background so you can see what it would be in case it was a different color. So that way I can change it to white. So let's just say I have, um, let's just do a light blue background. And I'm going to change this to white. I want to show you guys how it won't let you go back. So even though I already just added this outline, it won't let me change it back to white unless I redid it. If I go to shadows, it just says none. It's going to give it a minute to load, but see, nothing happens. So I would have to go back and redo this whole image in order to add the white shadow. So I will do that and then I will make the video pop back up there so you don't have to watch all of that again. And we are back. So I just changed it to have the white background so that way you could see what it looks like. Obviously this really isn't the best thumbnail. The colors don't really flow and it's kind of chaotic. But I just want to give you a quick idea of what you could do. Some other things you can do is go to elements and search for various backgrounds or different objects and colors and shapes in case you want to do something like that. Another option in the images, which I'm not sure if this is available in every version, like the free and the pro, but you can also do these smart mock-ups right here, which is definitely really helpful to do in case you want something like that. You can put things on t-shirts or on phones or things like that. So if I was going to put an image on the phone, I would just click this. You can even see the controls here and edit it. Um, so if for some reason you want a photo on a phone like that, you can go do it this way and it will pop up just like this. So there are so many options here to create your thumbnails. There's definitely tons of fonts to use and different things. Obviously you have more options if you're doing the pro version, but there's definitely plenty to do in the free version and so many effects you can do. And what I like to do is just make a copy of previous thumbnails and work off of them. So that way I don't have to kind of restart from the beginning. But obviously that is totally up to you. I hope this was helpful in making your thumbnail in case you weren't really sure how to start. Definitely use the templates and make them your own in case you're just out of ideas and you're not really sure what to do. And I always recommend looking at other YouTubers and seeing what they're doing. Just don't copy them exactly, but you can definitely gather ideas from them. Make sure your font is readable and that it relates to your video. So I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate all the support so much. And let me know if you liked the corny joke in the beginning or if you'd rather me go back to what I was previously doing. So thank you so much for watching and listening. And I hope you all have a fantastic day.